Instructions to the Psychomotor Skills Candidate for Patient Assessment Management Medical. This is the Patient Assessment Management Medical Skill. In this skill, you will have 15 minutes to perform your assessment, patient interview, and voice treat all conditions discovered. You should conduct your ses assessment as you would in the field, including communication with your simulated patient. You may remove the simulated patient's clothing down to his or her shorts or swimsuit if you feel that it's necessary. As you progress through this skill, you should state everything you are assessing. Specific clinical information not obtainable by visual or physical inspection, for example, blood pressure, should be obtained from the simulated patient just as you would in the out-of-hospital setting. You may assume you have two partners working with you who are trained to your level. They can only perform the interventions you indicate necessary, and I will acknowledge all interventions you order. I may, al I may also supply additional information and ask questions for clarification purposes. Do you have any questions? No. You are assigned to a transport unit in a rural community. You respond to a residence for a respiratory distress. It is 1830 hours and the weather is cool and clear. I have appropriate body substance isolation. Do I see, hear, smell, taste, feel anything that causes me concern on the no. scene? The scene appears safe. Okay. Uh, nature of illness is respiratory distress. Do I have only the one patient? Yes, one patient. All right, I'm going to call for ALS backup. Is there any need for fire or police? No. All right. Um, do I see anything, um, any mechanism of injury for spinal injury? Uh, no. All right, I'm going to forego spinal immobilization then. Okay. My general impression of the patient is a middle-aged female uh, found in a seated position in a tripod position in apparent respiratory distress. Uh, does, does she acknowledge that I'm present? Yes. All right, um, so she is alert. Uh, her parent chief complaint is respiratory distress. Hi, my name is Dean. I'm with EMS. What seems to be the problem today? Can't breathe. All right, chief complaint is respiratory distress. She has a patent airway, uh, so I'm going to assess the respiratory rate, rhythm, and quality. Uh, respiratory rate, please. It appears that she's breathing 24 times per minute. Okay, and I'm going to listen to the quality. Inspiratory, expiratory wheeze. Inspiratory, expiratory wheeze. Inspiratory, expiratory wheeze. And inspiratory, expiratory wheeze. Okay, I note wheezes in all fields. Um, gonna. Uh, place her on oxygen uh, with a non rebreather mask at 15 liters per minute and assess her pulse. Her pulse is present. And quality? It's thready. Rate? 110. Okay, do I notice any significant hemorrhage? There's no hemorrhage noted. Alright, and the skin condition, color, and temperature? It's cool, pale, and diaphoretic. Okay. Um, she's a critically ill patient at this point, so I'm going to get off the scene as quickly as possible. I'm going to prepare for transport and conduct the history and secondary assessment in route. Ma'am, did this come on suddenly or gradually? Sudden. Okay. Um, is there anything that makes it any better or any worse? All right. Can you describe how it feels to me? Tight. Just a tightness in your chest? Have you ever experienced anything like this before? Okay. Um, I'm going to defer radiation because of the nature of the distress. Um, Ma'am, on a scale of 0 to 10, if 0 is no trouble breathing at all and 10 is you can't breathe at all, where would you be on that scale? 7. Okay, and how long ago did this start? Just about 10, min 10 minutes. Okay. Are you allergic to anything? Shellfish, bees, penicillin, <laughs> and some seasonal allergies. Okay, and do you take any medicines for anything? I have Duonev and... EpiPen. Okay. Um, what's, have you had any kind of medical problems in the past? Any kind of seizures, diabetes, anything like that? Borderline diabetes. I just control and diet. Okay, so do you take insulin for that at all? Just diet. Okay. And when's the last time you had anything to eat or drink and what was it? I had Low Country Pool about 10 minutes ago. Okay, and when did this start? How long ago did all this start? Well, I was eating. So about 10 minutes ago? Okay. All right. As part of my secondary assessment, I'd like to listen to lung sounds again. Wheeze. 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 Okay. I have wheezes in all fields. Um, I'd like to go ahead and get an oxygen saturation. Oxygen saturation is noted at 95%. 95%. 
Uh, Ma'am, have you been stung by any bees in the last couple hours at all? No. Nothing like that? All right. Um, I noticed I noticed she's kind of itching a little bit. Do I see any hives, urticaria, anything? You notice some kind of blanchy urticaria places on her neck when you inspect that area. Okay. You said you had low country boil earlier. Did it have any shrimp in it? Yeah, but I, I picked them out. Okay, but was it cooked with the shrimp in it? Yeah. All right. Uh, and you're allergic to shellfish, right? Yeah. I mean, that's why you could pick the shrimp out, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, ha what happened when before in the past when you were allergic to shrimp? Does this feel like that type of event? Yeah. All right. And um, you said you have an EpiPen. Uh, did you do the EpiPen before in the past? And did it help? No. No? I just rushed to the hospital. Okay. They and gave me... EpiPen after that. Okay, and do you have an EpiPen now? I do. do you have one with you? Uh -huh. Can I see that, please? All right, I want to make sure that the EpiPen belongs to the patient, that it was prescribed to the patient, that it's still within date. Um, can't see it, but you would want to know that it was in date and had no floaties in it. All right, I'm going to check the blood pressure. Blood pressure is noted at 90 over 40. Okay, blood pressure is 90 over 40. I'm going to check the pulse rate and quality. It is 110, 30, fast. And the respiratory rate and quality? 22, shallow. Okay, at this point I'm going to establish my field impression as uh, an anaphylactic reaction. Uh, I'm going to call medical control for an order to uh, assist with an EpiPen administration. Um, I would call the physician, uh, notify him that we have a uh, middle-aged female who's complaining of respiratory distress about 10 minutes after eating a uh, low country boil that was cooked with shrimp uh, and that she does have a shrimp allergy and she has had anaphylaxis before, uh, has an EpiPen that's um, prescribed to her and ask if I could assist with the EpiPen administration. You may go ahead with the EpiPen as requested. All right. Ma'am, I'm going to assist you with this EpiPen administration. I want you to hold it in your hand and I'm going to remove the cap and we're going to put it in the side of your leg for 10 seconds, okay? And administer it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you feel the medication going into your leg? Uh, I'm going to massage the site to hasten the absorption. I'm going to continue to reassess my patient on the way into the hospital. I'm going to listen to lung sounds, monitor blood pressure every three to five minutes, um, looking for improvement in patient condition. Can you please demonstrate those reassessment techniques? Yes, sir. I'm going to listen to lung sounds. Clear. Clear. Slight wheezing. And slight wheezing. All right, slight wheezing noted in the bottom lobes. And I'm gonna check the blood pressure again. It is 102 over 60. Okay, blood pressure is 102 over 60. That's an improvement in both cases. Um, I'll con continue to do that every three to five minutes on the way into the hospital again, looking for improvement, continued improvement in patient condition. So you meet ALS en route, please provide them a brief report. All right, as I meet ALS en route, I'm going to advise them that I have a, a middle-aged female who had eaten uh, some low country boil that was cooked with shrimp. She has a shrimp allergy. Um, she was showing signs of anaphylaxis, including um, wheezes in all fields, also audible wheezes, um, uh, low blood pressure, and uh, had hives here to carry on her chest. Uh, I had a order from medical control to assist with the administration of an EpiPen. Uh, we did that approximately five minutes ago and have seen improvement in patient condition um, including a uh, increase in the blood pressure and a uh, significant reduction in the wheezes in, in all fields.